would you like to be taken behind the curtain? Would you like to see what it is that a gambler does to bring himself up to being game ready? Yeah. Good. So for this, we're gonna use uh, the diamonds. Some gamblers assume that by using the diamonds, it brings you luck, after all, they're the most valuable cards in the deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So each one of the diamonds. As well as that, we need one final part of the puzzle, and this will be your job, Chris. All I'm gonna ask you to do is name a card that you like, one that you remember easily. Nine of hearts. The nine of hearts, yeah. okay. So the stage is set for the challenge, the legendary 14 card control, with each one of the diamonds, and your choice, the nine of hearts. Um, this is your last opportunity to change your mind, you're happy with that totally card. Happy. To be honest, it doesn't really matter what the card is, it's just used as one addition to each one of the diamonds. What I am going to ask you to do, Chris, is say the word stop. Stop. Perfect. And then actually take the, uh, the entire deck and give it a shuffle. And when you're happy, just place it down on the table. Yeah. And equally, we take each one of the diamonds, place those into the deck. And again, we give the deck a shuffle. In fact, we'll even give the deck a, a kind of nice, precise shuffle to make sure that you're very happy that each one of the diamonds ends in a random location. In fact, Katie, what I'd like you to do is push the cards together for me. So right now, under really stringent conditions, you've shuffled the deck, yeah. I shuffled the deck, and Katie, you've also shuffled the deck. We have 14 cards that are our targets, the Nine of Hearts, and each one of those diamonds. I can't talk about this and do it at the same time. So enjoy a rare moment of silence. That's the ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One card that I left face down the 10, the Jack, the Queen, and the King. Now I left that particular card face down for a particular reason. It's in the ninth position in the deck. You chose a nine, yeah. not the nine of diamonds, but the nine of hearts. You see, the nine of diamonds is the one that I took and snuck into my pocket when no one was looking. And that is the gambler's exercise. 